Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Moss and I'm playing Windbound again today. This is part two of our Windbound journey. And um, if you saw the last video, then you know that we left off with me having just died and uh, reset to the beginning of the game. Um, so I, <laughs> I did make the decision to not play on survivalist mode anymore. And I am playing on adventurer mode now so that I don't keep losing progress like that. So I've left off here with me having gotten all three Nautilus keys and put them in place and this this uh, stairway is opened up and we're going up into this cool doorway portal thing that's up there, uh, which I haven't gone through yet because I wanted to do that on camera, obviously. So I will be seeing whatever we see for the first time. As far as my thoughts so far on the game, I've been really enjoying it. I really like the style. I don't have many issues with the gameplay. Uh, one thing is that I find the sailing mechanic to be really difficult, and I'm gonna pause while I talk about this because I don't want my energy bar to drain anymore, but um, yeah, I find the sailing mechanic to be really hard, um, and I ended up making a new boat so I could just row it because you can't row on your boat once you've put a sail on it, which is kind of frustrating, unless I'm like just doing it wrong, which is always a possibility, but... Um, yeah, sailing I don't like very much and then also even when you are um, playing on adventure mode it's still when you die it will reset you to the first island that you appear on and your map will be completely erased and you don't have the um, well I, I lost the Nautilus keys that I had gathered so I had to like remember where they were and go and gather them again you do retain your inventory and your boat but that's kind of it I managed to craft some things that are important. I have some new weapons now, like, yeah, we've got a leather sling instead of a grass sling. We have a bone tip spear, which is really useful. I have a um, bow, but I, I haven't really figured out how to use it. I think I need arrows and yeah, I have a, a shovel. Yeah, so I can dig now too. And I did get more um, experienced with the hunting stuff and I, brought down one of those big scary creatures and got some meat from it and stuff. Oh, my um, energy bar is depleting even when I'm in my inventory. That's fun. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this game so far. I'm enjoying it and I'm definitely excited to continue. And um, yeah, hopefully, I, th I think once we do this, we're probably going to be um, in a new chapter. So This is interesting. Ooh. Oh, I love this. This is still like very Wind Waker. I love this. This looks like a depiction of some islands and some boats and maybe some big nautilus creatures. I have definitely seen like hints of a story so far and when you um, encounter different islands you get little pieces of a story. Um, I don't know if those are collected anywhere if you if you can go back and read them. Um, so this says rejection. It looks like, okay, I think that this is going to form, sorry for spinning around so fast. I think this is probably going to form a story. Um, so this is called the First Crossing Rejection. The Islanders honored the Great Ones and in return the Great Ones tamed the winds and waters. There was harmony here. I wonder why it's titled Rejection. Okay, so this I'm imagining is something that's going to fill up as we progress through the game with more images and more parts of the story. This is really, really cool. All right, we've got our boat here. I don't know if that's, that looks like my boat, yeah. Wow. This is so cool. Still getting just huge Wind Waker vibes from this. I, I love that, that's one of my favorite games. So let's sail. Yeah, this is really um, not representative of how hard the sailing usually is. 
I think the um, wind is just blowing in the ideal direction right now since this is an important moment. Oh my god. Oh, that's like, that's one of the things that crashed my boat initially. That like came up out of the, out of the water and that is one of those Nautilus creatures that was depicted in the mural. Terrifying. <laughs> Huge. This is really spooky, actually. That genuinely scared me a little bit when that when that suddenly came out of the water. I don't really have that fear that a lot of people have of like, like a fear of open water or a fear of like things in the depths of the ocean. But I I can understand stuff like that is um, kind of cosmically horrifying. I feel like we're in kind of a like dream world or something right now. I see some glowing in the distance. Ooh, portal time, baby. I love a good portal. Love a good swirling, glowing portal. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. I really like that they, they made you do that, that long, that long little sailing journey from one point to another. Yeah. Make offering. What do you think goes in here? Like my ore, maybe? So I found these things called uh, sea shards, I think. That's the thing that I have um, 2,730 of. And I guess I can exchange those for one of these things. So, okay. Great Gordel coveted the ocean's treasures, greedily grabbing her glittering prizes up in her gargantuan grasping arms. Increases the amount of sea shards gained. Okay. Um... Gift from the gods, stout bow, yada yada. Start with the ancestral bow that never breaks. Okay, that is, I would rather do that than the first one. A second boon from the gods. I don't, I don't recall having a first boon, um, so I'm not sure what this is. I kind of like the sound of the bow. Yeah, let's go with that. That seems like a pretty safe option. Oh, that looks like a little blue artichoke. Oh, I can do multiple of them. I can just do all of them. <laughs> okay, I thought that I had to choose one. Um, but if I can afford all of them, I guess I'll just do all of them. Okay, so that's that. I guess this is probably a place that we'll be coming back to, like, in between chapters or something. Bestow blessing? Wait, I'm kind of confused. So, so I just, like, equipped those things, um, which I guess is the bestowing part. I'm kind of confused about this, but that okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, sh I just I didn't even realize that was <laughs> that was that high. Um. Oh, okay. No, this isn't like the other one where I can walk on water. <laughs> um. I have to go grab my boat. I guess this is embarrassing. I'm out. Yeah, the sailing does require some like back and forth kind of action like this to go at a reasonable speed at least most of the time yeah let's see what's next it's, uh, it just started raining outside so if you hear that then it'll just add to the ambiance I guess because it's raining in the game actually okay the great famine is chapter 2 Chapter one was the Lost Islands, I believe. Um, so I don't see... Oh, okay, straight ahead of us, there's an island. Oh, we've got all kinds of stuff up here. I guess this is probably the first place we should check out. And hopefully you'll see what I mean about the, um, the sailing mechanic being kind of difficult slash annoying. So tightening uh, the sail does help if the wind's not in an ideal direction. I see some, uh, like, fall trees in the background over there. At least that's what that looks like, so that's exciting. I wonder if it's, like, a different season in this part of the story. So I'm just going to collect some resources. I'm having trouble because my um, 
inventory is really small and I don't know it says that you can only have one bag equipped at a time so I haven't tried making another bag I am constantly running out of space in my bag yeah it says you can only have one bag equipped at a time you can also um, I have a storage uh, little basket on my boat that I have some things in but that is also like you can only put five things in there um, I want to pick this thing up because it's new but like I don't have any space so what can I drop why do why are my rocks in two different stacks? That's confusing. I'm gonna drop some of my rocks because um, I can always find more of those. Blood bristle, a magical ingredient. Am I gonna do magic? <laughs> so I see some smoke over there. It looks like there's probably a um, campfire. Oh, what is up with that? Oh, 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 I'm fighting. I'm fighting whatever this thing is. The razor brute. See, this spear is awesome, uh, <laughs> but I think it just broke. <laughs> it did just break, so I just have my teeny little knife now. Um, I can use my sling. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I've, oh, I've been, I've been got. Uh, come on. I'm fighting for my life. This is how the... What is happening right now? What is this? What is that? What was that? Was that just a glitch? Like, what happened? Okay, I need to, like, um, shelter here. <laughs> Try and get some high ground. This is the first time I've, like, had to fight something like this that was, like, introduced in this way. I think I'm running out of rocks, probably. Um, I want to climb up higher than this. Well, that's not working. Um, okay. Maybe there's somewhere else I can get to. The thing is fast. Okay. Here we go. The range of this sling is definitely not great, so I would really like this creature to come a little closer. It's moving so quickly. Alright, I might need to get down there and knife it. Yeah, I don't think that my sling is really doing the trick. Oh, I got it. Nice. I don't play a ton of games that have combat besides Breath of the Wild, so this is unusual. Okay, I think I need to go and just try and... I should eat something. Let's do that. Do I have any other... I don't know if I have any other weapons. I have that bow, but I don't have any arrows. Like, I can't use it. So we're just going to go for it. Yikes. Yikes. This is bad. Not good. Not good. Oh, I I have been killed. I was reckless. You have to really be patient when you're doing combat in this game. Okay, so I've been plopped back at the portal. At least I wasn't very far in. <laughs> Wait, I've been set down in a, in a different place. It looks like. That's interesting. I thought this was the island I saw, that I saw in the, in the distance. Oh, I think I'm stuck for some reason. Okay, let's... This is gorgeous. This looks kind of magical. I kind of want to rematch with that with that boar, but whatever. So we've got a uh, fire and one of those little glowy things. A broken covenant so old we had forgotten its original terms. The vengeful great ones 
sought to confine our people to the shore as punishment for their sins, but the sins were ours alone and our people were innocent. Oh, I think I saw this one before, actually. Press Y while dodging to perform a special attack. Okay. I'm not totally sure how to dodge in the first place, as you could probably tell when I was fighting that thing. So I'll have to figure that out. These trees are incredible. I am loving this. Looks like we've got some uh, bamboo here. I think I already have like one thing of bamboo in my bag that I just randomly found somewhere else. Wow, I'm so obsessed with this vibe. Plum puff, that's so cute. An omen of good fortune. In your case, it means you have a free meal. Yeah. So it looks like this island is mercifully free of creatures that are going to try and kill me. Oh, now I see some in the distance. Those aren't those aren't the scary kind. Those are the regular kind. So these are burrows where these little creatures live. And if you dig them, you get the fronds of these creatures. So I'm unclear whether um, this island is... Oh, I see. I think this island is like bigger than it looked when I initially arrived. Um, it looks like there's a tower up there that probably has something I need. Oh, that's a new that's a new creature up, up there that I'm seeing that definitely looks like it could kill me. So I'm gonna try and navigate around that situation. Um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I really want to get to that um, statue and see if I can interact with it. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, I can get something from here. I wonder if that's the boss that I was fighting. Okay, there is a Nautilus here. I need to drop something in my inventory, I guess, but... I think this thing wants to... Ooh, plane stalker. Oh, it's like... A, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that's not a... That's not a boar-type creature. That's like a... Oh, God. This is like a big cat with horns. Okay, I don't think that I'm... Oh, wow. <laughs> that's so scary. I don't think I'm equipped for this right now, so I'm running away. Um... No, and please don't chase me. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, running through the woods blindly. I am literally being hunted right now. Well, it's called a plane stalker, and it is stalking me on the plane. I wonder if I can run back around, like loop back around and get to that thing before it gets back there. This is horrifying. <laughs> I'll just eat, I'll just eat this. Yeah, let's go. Wait, what? What are you... Oh, okay. I thought that was like I needed space in my bag for something, but it looks like I need something boar related. I think maybe I need to have defeated that that boar in order to access this place. Like in order to make those steps grow up from the ground. Dang it. Why can't it have just dropped me right in front of that boss like it did before? Okay, there's the creature. I'm gonna, I don't know if I can find it in a safer way out of here. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Alright, now I have to remember where I left my boat because I've completely lost any sense I had of the geography of this island. I wonder if it's like I have to defeat this one boss and then I can access all of the um, things on this map or if there's like multiple bosses and each one defeating it unlocks a different tower. 
it would be nice if it was an all-in-one kind of deal. Where is my freaking boat? What is going on? Oh, it's on. I can just check the map. Oh, I'm on completely the other side of the island from it. That's great. So I definitely need to make a new spear for myself since my spear broke. Wait, is it still broken? Yeah. So, okay, let's see if I can make a spear. So I need a stick spear, which I can make, and I also need leather and bone, which I don't have. Um, I have some skin that I could make leather out of. Um, I would need to make a drying rack over this fire first. Um, and for that I would need thick grass, which I can get over here. Um, I'm really nervous being on this island knowing that that, um, that horrible creature is here. So I think I'm just going to make some leather here. Um, oh, I can make a clay kiln. Cool. I'm going to do that later. That's not pressing right now and I would like to get off this island. Um, so I'm going to make a drying rack and then I'm going to dry some of that skin into a leather. I'll just do all of it. So I have to wait for that to finish. I was going to see if I could maybe hunt that like one boar that I saw for some bone, but oh god, oh god, oh god, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, this place is uh, terrifying. Oh, the fire went out. I need more grass to light the fire again. Uh, this is kind of a nightmare. All right, let's find some grass, please, and thank you. Oh, this is so spooky with the light. I see some grass over there in the distance. I'm I'm maintaining vigilance around me as I am I'm definitely a prey animal in this situation. Oh, I have to make a whole new fire. I can't just light this fire. Can I not just light this fire, please? I need two things of grass to just light the fire. That makes sense. I'm very on edge because of this um, prowling beast <laughs> with massive claws. But yeah, that's a general thing with this game is that um, you are constantly in danger either from creatures or from starving. Everything requires a lot of patience and I kind of uh, like that. <laughs> I, I just I enjoy like a really um, challenging experience I think but I think it's more frustrating when I'm trying to film a video and I feel like it's going to be um, uninteresting. Okay, so we're just waiting for those leather things. And then I guess I'm going to go to another island. I guess this is where that boar that I have to fight is, so I'm going to head that way. And if there's other islands between here and there, I guess I'll stop. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. It's so purple out here. I'm just heading around the other side of this island, going the opposite way to how I got here, it looks like. See, sailing into the wind like this is really hard. This is, yeah, this is <laughs> where it gets frustrating. And I just, I, I don't know if I'm like not doing this right or something, but I've just been doing this like kind of going back and forth like this and tightening the sail and that's kind of it but going this way seems fine yeah this is a lot better I'm not seeing any isl islands around oh I see some never mind so I definitely see an important tower I wonder if that's the place I was before oh I'm completely not going the direction I thought I was going that's fine I'll go here instead. <laughs> I'm just gonna check out this island and hopefully find some food on it. I see one of those towers, but it looks like um, it's broken, so you need to do something to make the steps rise up. Um, and I'm hoping that doesn't involve also fighting a boss, but I have a feeling it might. I wonder if these just rocky areas have anything interesting in them. I feel like the... Um, The survival aspect of the game kind of like um, makes the exploration element less fun because it's like if you're worried about your health bars going down all the time, like 
you don't want to just be exploring for the sake of exploring when you don't know if there's going to like be any sort of reward. So this looks like I just have to hit this and then it's fine. So that's cool. We'll see what kind of what kind of treasure we're seeking in this chapter. Oh, it's just more Nautilus keys. I thought it might be something different. I'm skipping this. Clouds long departed, trees are barren, the seeds the seas turn against us. I wonder if there's gonna be a point where I'm able to like read the full story. Cause I'm just getting it in pieces and then I forget what the last thing said. But it seems like the story of like people who lived on these islands at some point and like the gods or something. I'm going to see what else is on this island, if there's any food or anything. Looks like it's just um, rocks and grass and sticks. Okay. Okay, that place in the distance. Let's head there. <laughs> that seems like a good a good place to go. Um, I'm going to eat what I have. I'll eat both of them just to be safe. I wonder if... Um, your boat like deteriorates because it looks a little bit more scruffy than it did when I first made it. That might be cause for concern at some point. Alright, I'm going this way. Into the wind. Great. I mean I guess like sailing in a in a tiny makeshift boat by yourself would realistically be very difficult and you would be fighting fighting the wind constantly. So I did say I wanted a realistic survival game, so I guess I can't really complain. Although, with um, what I was saying about wanting just like a straight up like wilderness survival sim, like I really want part of it to be like um, building a shelter and like you have to find shelter and get out of the elements and stuff. Is that where I just, yeah, that's where I just came from. So I was kind of hoping that might be part of this. I had no reason to think that it would be, obviously, but um, yeah, you don't need to find shelter and you don't need to sleep in this game. And those are things I was kind of, um, I would ideally want. I feel like I should just make the game that I, that I am envisioning, but I know literally nothing about game development. Yeah, what I want is like, you're in the wilderness for some reason and you have to find food and eat and keep your energy up and you have to get out of the elements and make a shelter and like get enough rest and stuff and like have there be like an exploration element definitely and then also like once you're um like like the surviving will get easier as time goes on and you can like eventually um like plant seeds and like m like add a lot more stuff to your to your shelter and like decorate it eventually and stuff like that. I don't know, when I was a kid I was like obsessed with um, books like My Side of the Mountain or Hatchet or whatever and that book about Chris McCandless. I really, I was really, really into the like wilderness survival thing for some reason and now I just want that in a game. So I guess I'm stopping at this island first. Oh, this is the Boar Island, okay. Um, I still need to remake my spear, so I don't know if this is a good idea for me right now, actually. I mean, it's almost certainly not a good idea. I don't think that I can beat this thing with my little knife. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna continue along. Okay, I think that big structure with the glowing lights on it is the thing that we're gonna have to put the Nautilus keys into once we get all of them, so there's no real point in me going there now, so I'm just gonna keep exploring. Alright, this looks pretty desolate. I need to find a place with animals that I can hunt so I can get bone to make my bone tip spear again so I can fight that thing, but I'm not <laughs> finding anywhere with any animals. Ooh, hello. This is a pumpkin. This is literally a jack-o'-lantern. Sea witch's cleansing staff. 
Attacks with the staff will launch arcane orbs <laughs> that seek and pursue their targets. Cool. Why can't I find any place with food? I really wish that food items would be just like slightly more abundant. Okay, what's like this way? Let's go that way. See what's there. Hopefully before I starve. Okay, I see our next destination. Oh god, there's another one of these things. This isn't the same island. I think I keep damaging my boat when I land. Okay, it's not the same island, but it has this creature on it again, so that's great. I just need to see if there's any other, like, if there's any boars or whatever that I can hunt for, um, like, bone. At least we're getting some mushrooms, I guess. Ooh, I see. I see some creatures. Those are the little ones. Let's try and get the big one. I think that's where you get the bone from. Oops, I missed. Oh, no. Oh. She got me. I'm not doing too too well at this. Huh. Wish I had a spear. Oh, I'm in a I'm in a bad way. <laughs> nice. Oh, I've uh, I've been killed. <sighs> okay, this game is hard, guys. <laughs> okay, since this has happened, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the video off here. Next time, I'll try to be approximately caught up to where I was before. I am enjoying this game to an extent. Um, to an extent, it's also frustrating um, and hard. So that's all for me. I hope that y'all are enjoying these Windbound videos because I am going to keep making them. I um, am definitely like getting into this game. Anyways, I'll see y'all soon with new videos and I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.